What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and firstly, I am a permanent member of the Red Crew thanks to my sunburn over the last two days and especially Festival Speed yesterday but what an insane event and an amazing atmosphere and uh, hopefully you've checked out Sam from Seen Through Glasses video as well as you would have probably already done before this video so you'd have seen the car that we are about to drive towards Sandy Lane. Sandy Lane is a very wealthy part with some pretty amazing villas on the island. Lewis Hamilton also stayed there over the weekend so my main target is not only to explore the island even more but check out some of the amazing places and fingers crossed some of the amazing cars that there are going to be on this island and this is the car that we're going to do it in. Woo! Oh yes! <laughs> Don't get in. No because I want to film us getting in because my tight trousers, it's easy to... Behind the scenes of a seen through glass video insight there. It's about a 25 minute drive, so I am kind of looking forward, but also nervous at the same time of going in this car. But then once we get there, we are gonna park up, jump out, and then explore this specific area of Barbados on foot and just film everything that I can possibly film. We are cruising through the west coast of Barbados and this is one hell of an experience, wouldn't you say? I'm loving it. Uh, I literally... You need to stand left. Oh no, yeah, turn right. Turn, turn right. right, yeah. I am on the Google Maps duty and we are about 20 minutes out from Sandy Lane. Boring. I love it. This is cool. This is cool. One Sandy Lane. That's Hamilton's house. This is where Hamilton stayed. Oh my god. That is So far, we have cruised past some pretty impressive houses. You can always tell when they're impressive when you can't actually see them from the road. So what we're planning on doing now is we're going to park up and then walk along the beach and try and get some cool shots of the houses overlooking the sea. I don't think you saw that Subaru. There's not too many cars driving around because a friend of ours, Sam, who has featured in Idiots Go Car Shopping, not this Sam, another Sam, um, told us about the 150% import tax. So, a £100,000 car would cost a quarter of a million quid here. Just to give you an idea of why there isn't Ferraris and Lamborghinis driving around. I think we go straight. Straight? There's Louis Vuitton. That, that Mercedes probably costs here 80 grand? Yeah. 
I love the way Eight are going to be changing the cars that you now film. I know. Usually you're like, whatever. But it is just amazing at the cost of cars when you think about having to bring them to the Caribbean. Nice house there. Well, that's a golf club. You know, it's just got a nice logo. That's the one the isn't it? Yeah. Wow, it looks cool in there. Okay, so this is going to sound pretty stalkerish, but we are in front of where Lewis stayed for the last couple of days and we're going to walk onto the beach and hopefully get some cool views of some of these amazing houses just from the beach, which means that they've got a sea view, which I assume most people would want if they're buying an epic house. But check out how incredible this building is. That's not too bad. Not too bad. That it's way, cool. that way's bad. That's where the car is. It's high tide. But it looks awesome. It is safe to say that this island is full of surprises. We've explored quite a lot of the west coast now and it's very calm, the waters are very, very blue and it is absolutely stunning. We've also gone over to the east coast, which is very rocky. The waves are a lot bigger, surfers paradise. And uh, yeah, I absolutely love it here. The heat, I mean, as nice as the heat is, 30 plus degrees it is tough to deal with if you're out in it all day even with factor 30 factor 50 sun so i think what we're going to do now is head back into the car try not to get burnt ah oh, the shade oh try not to get burnt and then we're heading out to a traditional Caribbean dinner, which should be pretty awesome. Tomorrow, myself and Sam are exploring the different excursions that are available through Virgin Holidays. And we are gonna be doing two in one day, and they are pretty epic. We're gonna be doing the famous Swimming with Turtles, so we're gonna be going out on a catamaran for a fair few hours, and we're all gonna be able to jump into the sea, which Sam is very much looking forward to, and going to be potentially swimming with turtles I'm not too sure how easy they are to find or how friendly they are, but hopefully I get to meet Crush, who is the world famous turtle from Finding Nemo. And I'm sure he's gonna be making his return in the new film Finding Dory, which is coming soon. Sounds like an ad, but it's not. Um, and then the second excursion that we're gonna be doing is a submarine, a twilight submarine, which again is out at sea, which Sam is even more looking forward to because he hates the sea. So, Firstly, we're gonna be doing the turtles, which I'm gonna film. I'm gonna be taking my GoPro underwater and hopefully catching some pretty cool footage. And then Sam is going to be filming the submarine, Twilight Submarine, underneath the sea, having some cocktails apparently, and checking out some of the wildlife. So totally different videos to what we have been filming already here in Barbados, but we are just taking in everything and thanks to Virgin Holidays who have organized all of this, this is an epic island where there is just tons of stuff to see and do. So for the first time on this trip, I am going to sign off and say thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you've been enjoying the Barbados content that I've been putting out. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for this Swimming With Turtles and hopefully I get to meet Crush.